I've been a gamer for some time now. I've owned various video games, played a ton, but what I don't understand are the point of Amiibos. Amiibos don't really have any point to them whatsoever. There just isn't any point to having an Amiibo. I mean, let's be honest here. With Amiibos, you're basically buying plastic Skyladder-like figures for your game. But let's be honest here, they're not even used for anything in the game. I mean, I can understand like with Disney Infinity and like uh, with Skylanders why you'd buy the figures because those whole games are designed around the figures where you put the figure on and next thing you know you see your character in the game. It's a pretty cool way of, if you're a marketer, to sell like downloadable content and the like to kids because Let's be honest here, a random kid isn't going to know what buying a DLC pack is, but they'll buy a Skylander toy, like, let's, I'm talking kids like 7 to 8 year olds here, I'm not talking grown men or teenagers who know what the Call of Duty map pack is, I'm talking about putting these things on and next thing you know, suddenly seeing your characters come to life in the video game. It's a pretty cool marketing concept and there's a good reason it's sold tons of units. But Amiibos, on the other hand, there's just not that same thing. I mean, Amiibos, it seems like, let's just say they you took Call of Duty or uh, Halo, like, like, let's just say you took, let's just say EA did something like Amiibos. Let's, let's take Battlefield 4, for example. Let's just say you took Battlefield 4, and all of a sudden, you just start to put in, um, all of a sudden, you find out that you have to buy some Battlefield Soldier figure to get a new loadout. That's what Amiibos are kind of like. But instead of using them like that, they're basically just useless stuff such as bots in Super Smash Bros. and a few unlocks in some other games, and that's really it. There's no real point for Amiibos, they're just pointless. But not only that, but the figures themselves. They're not even that good collector's items. If, if you're a nerd, with a ton of money to blow on like figures and rare stuff. You would go like go on Amazon or eBay and you get like like let's just say Pokemon for example. I'm a Pokemon fan. I even have a Lugia wallpaper on my Galaxy I mean not Galaxy Gear on my Samsung Gear 2. I've got a Pokemon wallpaper on here of Lugia. Why would I go like let's just say um buy an amiibo of say Lucario and I could get like a bigger Lucario figure for less money or I mean on Amazon or I could get like one of the detailed with lots of uh, movement areas uh, Bandai figure arts or whatever they call them figures I mean I could get one of those for more money than an amiibo but they're a lot more detailed they go a lot better on your shelf than an amiibo would because amiibos on the other hand they're like Happy Meal toys I mean, the only people I can think of buying uh, Happy Meal toys other than people bought with like that game, uh, game shelf in the background, and a few uh, boxes which are rotting away possibly, I mean, other than those people buying Amiibos, the only other people I think of buying similar stuff are Bronies, and other similar people who, um, I think we all know what the reputation of My Little Pony fans is, but yeah, here's the thing. The only people Amiibos are meant for are kids and man-children, because everybody else, like, like if you actually gave a sh about, like, Pokemon or something, you wouldn't be buying an Amiibo. You'd be buying, like, a, like a, a pretty b a bigger figure, for example, that's, like, six to seven inches instead of these Amiibos, which are like tiny Skylander-like figures with the quality of a McDonald's Happy Meal toy for $13 to $14 or a lot more because guess what, some of them are even out of production now because Nintendo apparently wants to spur the collector's market instead of making tons of money. Keep in mind Nintendo's losing money and they could be milking the crap out of Amiibos, but they're pulling the whole collector bull crap thing right here. Honestly, there's no point in Amiibos whatsoever. There really isn't. And as a Pokemon, well, for former Pokemon fan, because honestly, I don't like the Pokemon fan base. As one of those people, I just can't see myself spending money 
on like, let's just say, a Pokemon Amiibo and I could get better figures on Amazon. That's all I have to say. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more.